What's up guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Today we return and uh, we're at an obelisk. You guys could probably take a lucky guess as to why we're here. And uh, we've come strapped, we've come loaded, and uh, we ourselves are ready for a little bit of a tussle. We're heading in, we're doing an arena. I didn't do the last arena, I'll do one of those probably here in the upcoming days, catch up on this update. But uh, we're doing the new update first. We got some guns. I don't have any dinos with me this time. Uh, for the next arena, I might. But we do have ourselves some pretty strong weaponry here, as you guys can probably see in terms of the damage and everything it does. We're going to head on into this arena and see if we can't mess up this gorilla. And uh, see just how strong he is. So we got some strong armor and everything. We got a lucky scuba mask. And... Uh, we got everything in here. This is everything you need to go to the Megapithecus portal. You need eight Megalodons, four Tyranno arms, four Argentavis towns, two Sauropod vertebra, and uh, what appears to be eight artifacts. So really, that's a lot of artifacts you're going to be needing. But uh, once you got them, you're good to go. So let's generate the tributes and uh, see what happens. Oh, hello. This is a interesting effect, to say the least. Oh, <laughs> dude, this is badass. Oh my god. What the fuck? Is this what they did for the other arena, too? If so, that is insane. This is so cool. They got an entire effect and everything. Oh, what was that noise? Dude, I better not spawn into this or he'd be dead because, like, my computer lagged or something. The Megapithecus has been summoned. I can't find where he is. Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. We got 15 minutes in this arena, so your struggles are timed. And, uh, holy crap, dude. Ah! This is insane. This is literally insane. They made an entire new arena. It looks like an entire new world. Look at that. We got some ruins over there. We got some insane Megapithecus ruins here. I look like those in uh, the ice cave, actually. It looks like the exact same, exact same structure that we saw there. Okay, well we'll make our way up these stairs, and I'm guessing our uh, adversary, with the epic music, will be somewhere over here. I don't quite see him yet. How far up do we gotta run? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's not. Oh, he just like. Oh no, he's got monkeys. He's got. He, oh, he's got Yetis helping him out. Get out of here, Yetis. Uh oh. Oh, he's throwing boulders. Uh, okay, boulders are an insta-kill. Holy shit. All right then, as you guys probably just learned from my mistake, this boss is not to be trifled with. This time, we are heading in with God Mode enabled just to make sure I can, like, I know this is going to be a ridiculously hard fight and there's definitely going to be some, I don't know, I can tell you right now the strategy is to avoid the giant rocks he throws. But, uh, yeah, that is insanely difficult. Let's, let's start generating this thing. And, uh, we're just going in with God Mode. I want to show you guys, you can probably already tell, he spawns yetis. He will probably murder you with rocks, and uh, really, he just got a whole plethora of ways of making your day unhappy, and if he kills you, you can't really come back unless maybe you make- ooh. Actually, I wonder, can you get a sleeping bag in there? Hmm. That's something I might try out after I beat him, but that'd be interesting. I don't know- no, I don't think that'd work actually, because you gotta be able to click the sleeping bag on the map, and I don't think you can actually do that, so... I don't know. Anyways, we're slowly spawning in here with, uh, yeah. Yeah, just gonna take a little bit. All right, uh, I was going to spawn it in. Unfortunately, it seems that he's over there. We got pressing matters to deal with, such as murdering him. Uh, he summons yetis from the sky. I think I saw mini yetis, too. And, uh, he's a force to be, force to be trifled with. Please launch high damage rockets at his face. Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna try and dodge that this time. Very important that you dodge that. Very important that my computer doesn't freeze right now because I'm trying my best not to die. Please stop. Uh, the good news is we got God Mode on, so we should be able to withstand uh, anything that he does to us. He's level 30, it seems, when he spawned in. Uh, big thing you want to do when you come in here, 
probably not come alone. I can tell you that right now, coming alone is going to lead to some bad times. He's, he's got yet. He's chasing after me, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh. There we go. We got some kills. We got some kills on the Yetis. Uh, and yeah, so you want to come in here with some really strong dinosaurs and not alone. That would be my guess. You want to come in here, dude, a giganto or something like that. That'd probably be my best guess because this thing is, uh, it's ready to murder you. It really is. And, uh, I'm, dude, this, this is an ascendant rocket launcher, like 500% weapon damage. And, uh, he's really, uh, he's taking it well for the fact that he should be dying. I don't know what this leads to. Maybe I can, like, hide up here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, that should have killed me right there. So that's the thing, even like thinking you can run away and be safe, like, yeah, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Oh, God. And I keep thinking that my rocket launcher is reloaded. When it isn't, I'm going to shoot at his feet to maybe kill his like, little minions. But you you don't want to come in here alone. You want to bring dinosaurs. You want to bring friends. And uh, you want to make sure that you don't get knocked. Oh, Jesus. How many Gigantos did he have? I think he was summoning monkeys, too. That's what like the little babies were. Yeah. Are these the are these the ones that fling poop? I don't know how I feel about that. My screen's really shaky. I'm gonna try to poop. There we go. Get rid of some more of them. And yeah, you're gonna be kiting a lot. You're gonna be ha, kiting. Get it? Like kiting the resource. And uh, just overall, it's uh, not gonna be easy because he seems to be summoning these quite a bit. I think I just heard a lot of poop, so I think they fling poop at you. They might be like the Arctic monkeys from Survival of the Fittest. And uh, uh, dude, this is. Yeah, alone? If you can do this alone, man, props to you. That That's all I can say, because this is insane. His rocks insta-kill and probably do, like, a lot of damage. And, uh, kiting is gonna be really important for this. You're gonna want a dinosaur with an area, uh, or AoE attack, because, uh, as you can see, he's got a lot of little mobs he summons to help do his bidding. And, uh, that's no- oh my god. Was that some bodies that got flung over there? He has a lot of mobs that he does to do his building- bidding, not building. He doesn't build, unless he constructed all this. So, uh, yeah, and still, we're a lot of rockets in. So, <laughs> I don't know, he's- not, I don't know if he's getting bloody, I don't know what he's doing. I might just switch to the assault rifle, actually, and see if that can start doing some more. Uh, I killed a lot of monkeys, but, alright, we're switching to the assault rifle. I forgot to reload this thing, so let's do this badass like, and, uh, yeah, you don't want to come alone. You want to bring really strong dinosaurs. I'm saying you probably want to bring a Giga minimum one, because this thing, this thing might just murder your Giga, too. That's the scary part, man. He's, he's capable of doing that, and oh my god, just the Gigantos are insane, as you can probably see. Oh my god, yeah, I, I feel like that rocket, that rocket came in pretty clutch. Oh my god, Jesus, I don't know what I'm shooting. My freaking, it's like my face is having an aneurysm. I don't know what's happening. Jesus Christ, are my eyes even connected anymore? He's, he summons so much. You want to bring dinos. You want to bring something that does an area of effect attack so it can hopefully handle uh, all his little minions he spawns. And uh, you got to keep in mind, you're timed with this crap, man. So uh, good luck, have fun. I, I actually don't know. If, like, I'm not doing this legit, and I might not be able to beat him. That's how ridiculous this is. Speaking of ridiculous, it's just... That killed one, dude. Come on. I would use the rocket... Reload rocket launcher. Come on. I would use the rocket launcher more, but it's like... Oh, where is he? Where is he? Where are the monkeys? Hello, monkeys. Seriously, where are you? Is he stuck on something? I don't know. I... Yo, for real, where did he go? Does he run away? Are you scared? Oh my god, so much poop. So much poop. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot downwards. Hopefully take care of this. Hello, monkeys. How are you doing? Hope you're all having a great day. Not for long! There we go. We just murdered everything. Literally everything. And yeah, just the fact that he's constantly spawning crap is awful. The fact that he has so much health because I've just been lobbing, lobbing rocket launchers and very powerful rocket launchers at that into his face. And uh, as you can see, he's only starting to get bloody. And I don't know if that just blood he's had like this entire time. If that's a blood that's like for his skin or if he's actually getting bloody. I think he's actually getting bloody. And still, dude, so much, so much. It's, it's scary. It's scary, especially given the fact that he can one hit you at pretty much any time. Your dinosaurs probably aren't gonna have a fun time and you're gonna want a lot of people and a lot of dinosaurs. Probably want someone focusing on the little shits he spawns. And then every one of you guys all over the arena too, so he can't like focus on one of you. And uh It's gonna be a lot of work, man. I I commend whoever the hell can do this. You're gonna you want powerful people, but I beat it. 
We got the dossier for him. We still got a million things here. You're going to want to beat that dossier to uh, do something. I don't know if we unlocked anything. There we go. Kill everything else. You can access his inventory. He has some, you know, just normal garbage there. And uh, actually, if I can spawn something in before this happens, I want to put a sleeping bag down. Hurry up, game. Don't screw me now. Don't tell me it's been 30 seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can't. No, I don't think you can do the sleeping bag. Damn. I was going to say, that'd be interesting, but... Yeah. Only took me half the allotted arena time. Ridiculously strong weapons. A ridiculous amount of bullets being fired out of those ridiculously strong weapons. And infinite health. Also, am I falling through the map currently? Because this does not look good out of, like, the little I'm able of seeing. No, we... Where, the, where are we? Dude, what... I'm so confused. I'm just going to wait for the game to load, dude. I don't I don't know. I don't even want to try to figure it out. And there we have it. We return. It is night time. We defeated the Megapithecus. And what do we get? For our struggles, we get two objects. The Gorilla Flag, just like we got the Spider Flag for beating the spider ever since the beginning of the game. And a Megapithecus trophy that you can put on a wall mount. That trophy you can definitely show with pride because... Holy crap, that thing is insane. I'm just gonna put this down right there. There we have the gorilla, actually really badass flag that looks awesome and that is also a sign of pride because if you can beat the Megapithecus, if I see that flag on the outside of your base, if I see that mount at your gates, if I see the Megapithecus' head anywhere near your base, I'm gonna know you're probably not to be trifled with because if you can take that thing out the strength of your dinos and you and your tribe in general has to be ridiculous. And I have a level available to me. Oh, did they raise the level cap with this? I think they may have. Okay, I'm going to go up in health. Uh, it appears they've raised it up to 96. So another two levels as well. But there you have it. It's probably the hardest fight in the game. Uh... If and when I jump back into Ark, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you watched the last video, you might know a little bit more about that. Going to be spreading a couple hints here and there. You know, start getting you guys a little excited. I don't know. Uh, I think that's the ultimate end goal of any series that I may or may not do. Because if I can do that, oh my god, is all I can say. But that's all I'm going to say. Don't want to give anything away about Ark and or what I may have in store, but uh, it's all you commenters clamoring for more of it and all that crap. Don't worry. There will be more. Watch the other video, get whatever hints I dropped there, and uh, just watch out. Be dropping a couple throughout these Ark videos, these update videos, and uh, maybe I'll even up a little teaser. I don't know, but get excited. Ark. May or may not be coming back, and uh, it may or may not be bigger than ever. Who knows? Anyways, that's the Megapithecus. Insanity is all I can say, and uh, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video as always, and hopefully we'll see you next one.